Hello, good evening to you wherever you are. The first piece of news to bring you is the fact that the heavens have opened. A rainy night here. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And we're ready to bring you live coverage of this League One fixture. It's Charlton Athletic, and they take on Plymouth Argyle. Yeah, thanks as always, Derek. It's a pleasure to be here. Anticipating a really good game today. The atmosphere is great. Certainly buzzing from the spectators' point of view as we head towards kickoff. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. Number 15, Darren Prattley. Number 8, Jake. And the lineup for the home side. Number 26, it looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You've played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back with the wing backs exposed like this in this formation, that a 4 4 2 can really create a 2 v 1 down the side. So keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for Thank the two you. forwards Enjoy up front. The game. And so the match is underway. Ben Watson. Well, nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? And the pass could do damage. Oh, big opportunity! He's going to be angry with himself, Lee, having failed to take that chance so early in the game. Well, the first chance of a game's important, but the first goal, sometimes it comes, you're not expecting it. Ben Watson. Well, this is something they clearly need to improve upon. I'm talking about the record away from home, Lee. Yeah, still without a win away from home, and it's simply not good enough, is it? Can they turn the tide around today and get the three? Can't miss, surely! Well, it was never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his teammates. Head in a hand sort of moment. Grant, and the emphasis is on creativity. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Frank Nuble. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Anike. Dangerous looking attack. And on the ball, Prattley. Gunter, Ben Watson, very comfortable when in possession, Watson, a reminder, Chucks and Ike, can they get themselves in front here, and the corner has been given,
and firing it into the area very clear who got the last touch so a corner coming up Played into the centre of the box. And a struggle to get it away properly. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Grant. Frank Nuble. Grant. Excellent vision. Well, he keeps going. An authoritative challenge. So a throw in here. Grant, Frank Nuble, he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. The hosts have really controlled possession but they need to turn that possession into creating more chances. The forwards have been vacant today, they really have, midfield not good enough as well. The fans are expecting a lot more from this team. Oh, he's given us away. They couldn't maintain possession. Chuck Sanike. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Ben Watson. Shinny. Chance to play it in. A terrific pass. A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do it justice how patient they were in the build-up. And still, with lots to do, he unleashes a very powerful effort. Gave the keeper little chance. Lovely goal that was. So half time and sadly the visitors have grown rather accustomed to this situation, losing once again away from home Lee. Well, a familiar pattern is padding out on the road again here, although only down by one. History will suggest it's all going to end in tears. You never know though, Derek. Miracles do happen. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Grant. Grant. And snuffing out the danger. Ben Watson. It's with Washington. A glorious chance. 
They might regret that miss. They ought to be two up. Well, they've done so much work to get one goal ahead. Two goals ahead was there on a plate, and these fluffed his lines. Watts. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Extremely sloppy in possession. Half an hour remaining then. Shinny. Opportunity to deliver the cross. It has to be! In it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, here it is again. The through ball is perfectly timed. It causes havoc. There's still a lot of work to be done, but the keeper presents the near post on a plate and he's punished. That's quite remarkable. So 2-0 now. Cooper. Going well. Well, the pass not finding its target. And breaking at pace with Menace. Well, an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Oh, great defending. Well, he's given us away. Shinny. Connor Washington. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Only ten minutes remaining here. Connor Washington. Good strength to keep the ball. Gunter. Connor Washington. Chance to do damage. It's with Washington. Chuck Sanike. Well, he's given us away. And that is going to be all for this game. And it's in line with how they've been playing away from home. Another defeat to digest. Well, it's going to have to be plan D next time out. They simply cannot cope away from home. The game plan is all wrong for me. Too open, too flimsy. They really need to shake themselves out of this form. It's happening too often. Terrible.